Now, the, the FCTC was basically conceived in 1995. Uh, it was given impetus by a new director general, Gro Harlem Brundtland uh, of the WHO in 1998. It was negotiated between 1999 and 2003, and it entered into force in 2005, once um, uh, a, a number of countries had basically ratified and signed up to the agreement. Um, it, it's basically a kind of advisory framework for tobacco control. Uh, it doesn't really force countries to do anything, and it doesn't really have any significant sanctions if you don't. But it's there, it's, that doesn't mean it's not important. It's there to create norms, to establish a, a, a pattern of responding to the tobacco, con, to the, to the, tobacco uh, the challenge of tobacco and smoking. So it has uh, articles on taxation, on advertising and promotion, on warnings, on packaging, on smoking in public places, uh, on illicit trade, um, and, you know, basically tries to encourage countries to have a plan, um, you know, to, to actually do something. And then it kind of marks their homework a bit by looking at uh, who's done what kind of uh, what kind of measures. So bro broadly, it's not a totally bad thing. It's trying to normalize good tobacco uh, policy. The problem is it's basically gone off the rails when it comes to harm reduction. Um, now, the, the FCTC works uh, through uh, two main bodies, really, the Secretariat, which organises it. Um, and the, the Secretariat is housed within WHO, but is not strictly speaking part of WHO. It's not funded by WHO, it's funded by something called the Conference of the Parties, which is 190 odd countries gather together, um, meet every couple of years, and they are the parties to the convention and they basically make the decisions about what the convention's doing. The Secretariat prepares papers for that, uh, for those meetings, uh, and the next meeting will be in November, um, from the 8th to the 13th, uh, of November held online this year because of COVID. Um, the, F, the, the Secretariat prepares papers and then the Conference of the Parties reaches decisions um, uh, which are then published, which form a, a kind of rounding out of what the uh, convention is actually supposed to do. Okay, now the the trouble the trouble is those decisions uh, the, the while the convention text really allows you to do anything and actually includes a reference to harm reduction so article 1d of the framework convention on tobacco control suggests in the definition of tobacco control that harm reduction is part of it the problem is that has never been actually operationalized through decisions or interpretation or guidelines in the in the convention uh, and actually the convention has taken opposite much more hostile point of view. Mm -hmm.